Welcome to the Edgewong Trading Journal review number five, where we take a deep dive into one of our customers' trading journal. If you want us to review your journal the next time, just click on the link below or go to edgewonk.com review and submit your journal. Today we're going to analyze a slightly profitable trading journal and we want to see if we can help this trader make the next step in his journey and achieve even better trading results. Although the performance is up and down, there are a lot of positives in his performance graph. Now let's see if we can extract the profitable aspects and parts of his trading. I always like to go to the trade comments in the beginning because that shows us his level of execution and if he can stick to his rules or not. And whereas there are a lot of positive parts and profitable aspects of his trade entry execution as we can see here, there are a few red ones as well. And especially those two red ones are outliers. Here it shows that the trader has taken trades that have no real setup. And here he took trades with an incorrect level placement. And you can see this has a 0% win rate and this only has one winner out of nine trades. Taking those together, that's already a loss of 800 US dollar. What we can do when we're in the equity graph, we open the advanced filter and we only want to see the levels that are executed according to the rules. We want to exclude the setups that have no rules or that don't match the rules. And what we can see is that his trading performance looks so different. Now this is a great looking graph and his trading performance would have been super profitable if he would have just stick to the trades that are 100% according to the rules. He has a return of 7%, whereas when we take a look at the whole data, when we remove all of the filters, you can see we just have a performance of roughly 2%. And when we look at the whole data, the trading performance is very up and down. And although it's profitable, it's not very profitable. So that's the first major finding. Next, I always like to go to the trade setups to see if there are underperforming strategies that he's trading. But this doesn't seem to be the case. All of the three setups that he's trading, whether it's a trend trading, a rejection or an accumulation, they're all making money. So that's good. There doesn't seem to be a systemic problem when it comes to his trading strategies. The one thing that really stood out is when you go to the performance by instrument and let's sort this by the value, there are two instruments that are performing very, very negatively, Euro US dollar and US dollar CAD. The US dollar CAD has 17 trades and the Euro USD 19 trades. Together, those two instruments led to a loss of around 900 US dollar. We can do the same now and let's just go to the basic filters and we want to select all markets except for the US dollar CAD and the Euro US dollar. And once again, you see that we have a significant improvement of his trading performance. Now the return is over 5%. Remember, the overall performance with all of the instruments is only 2%. So that's more of a 100% improvement of his total trading performance. It's another very important finding. What I really liked about this journal is that he has notes for every trade. So when you open a trade and we scroll down here to the personal notes, he has a note for every single trade. And that is really a great sign as it differentiates between the professional traders and the amateur traders. So he takes this very seriously and he spends a lot of time with all of the trades. And even when he takes multiple trades per day, he really spends the time with each of the trades to go through the trade one by one again to see what was going on. Was it a good trade? Was it a bad trade? What stood out here? He's also very objective. So he doesn't just look at the outcome and says that a winning trade is a good trade, a losing trade is a bad trade, but he's going beyond that and he looks at the level of execution. This over time will help the trader to uncover patterns in his trading and in his trading behavior. And you will get a much deeper understanding of his trading performance, his strategies, the individual pairs. And there are a few other very important insights that the trader is gaining through this exercise. We will see shortly in this journal why this is so helpful and what interesting insights the trader gathered from it. When we go to the notebook, he has a very interesting note here. He called it main things to focus on. And there are a few important points that he wants to check and that guide his trading journey and his journaling journey as well. So he seems to have noticed that there are pairs that are underperforming. He's, he wrote, check what pairs are working and which aren't after collecting enough data. He also wrote that, I think my equity graph should be more steady. And I fully agree with that after going through his data. By executing his trades according to the plan, trying to avoid more of those trades that are not in line with his trading setups, he could improve his performance significantly. He also wrote, try and look for other improvements via the data. I don't think psychology is the issue. I always journal before entering the trade so I know it's a good setup. Again, fully agree with this point here. Trading psychology doesn't seem to be an issue. He doesn't seem to tilt on his setups. When we go to the chart lab and when we go to the risk distribution here at the bottom, 
You can also see there's no flaws, there are no outliers here to the downside, which would indicate problems with his risk management. He also said, I always journal before entering the trade. And this trading journal is just a perfect example for how to use the different features. So under advanced journaling, we go to trade plans. And here he has entered a lot of his trade plans, which means that before he's entering a trade, he really takes the time to analyze the potential trades and map them out. He even adds personal notes on his different instruments and the trading plans. He also has a screenshot before he takes the trade on his trading plans. That's really a great exercise. And you can see from his analysis that the trading plans really help his analysis and his trading process. So this journal is just a wonderful example of how to use the trading diary, the trade plans and the personal notes. But there are also a few other examples on how to use Edgework in the perfect way. Let's see what he means here. After analyzing my data, I think I should use fixed stops with all the trend setups. And we can confirm that if that's really the case. So we go to the basic filters and he said he want to look at his trend trades. And then he said he want to use fixed stops. He has a custom statistic for a stop loss placement. So that makes analyzing it very, very easy. And you can see there are 32 trades tagged with those types of criteria, 65% win rate, return of 3% and a total gain of 642. So is this stop loss technique an improvement? For that, we can just compare to the other trades. We open the advanced trade filters and then we just change the stop loss method to volume and swing points. And you can definitely see it's a major improvement. 101 trades are tagged with those types of criteria. He has a total loss of 2% and a total return of minus 543. So he's absolutely right in his assumption regarding stop loss placement with trend trades. It's another wonderful finding that will help the trader move his trading into the right direction by adjusting his trading strategy very specific based on his real trading data. He also said for accumulation setups, use volume stops preferably and then swing stops. Do not use fixed stops. So let's try to see if that's the case. Accumulation setups and volume stops. So we change the setup filter here to accumulation. And then for his stop placement, he said he want to use volume stops. Here it is not as clear. He has a very, very small profit. It doesn't look as profitable as compared to the other ones where we looked at trends and fixed stops. So that doesn't seem to be the case. There are 32 trades with a 50% win rate. How about his other stop approach, which he mentioned? Here you can see it looks better. And in especially here after this dip in the beginning, we have a positive overall trend. He has a positive return of 2% and a profit of 387%. And his data shows that for those types of setups, the specific stop approach with the swings is working for the trader. And that's such a great insight and a great example of how a trading journal will help you uncover your edge. You can see that we can really dig down into the trading performance where we look at different setups and then analyze which kind of stop placement is working and which isn't. What I noticed is when I opened one of the trades from him, this is a US dollar cat trade. Remember the ones that are not performing. He wrote that he's getting fed up with this pair. I think it doesn't work. I will remove this pair until it shows a lot of positive trades after a big set of data. I will add them to the missed trades. So let's actually go to the missed trades and see what he did there. Here we can see all of the journal trades for the missed trades and there are quite a few US dollar CAD pairs. Let's filter for the US dollar CAD here. And what we can see except for one, they're all winning trades. Let's go to the missed trade analysis. Here we get a breakdown of the missed trades and the real trades that are taking in his trading account. Only for the US dollar because we've activated the filter. What we can see is that his real trades on the US dollar CAD led to a loss of 2.17%. His missed trades have a return of 1.2%. There are only seven trades though with a US dollar CAD and the missed trades and probably also over much shorter sample period. So it seems like that the trader is missing good trades and that needs to be analyzed and observed further. What is going on here? Why are the missing trades performing so well? We can open those trades. We go down a little bit and he wrote, we'll continue to see if this pair holds up and he uses edge wonk in the perfect way. Let's open the losing trade here. Here he wrote the trade went through the stop loss before reversing like a lot of US dollar CAD trades. So maybe in the future, it will be also be interesting to see if stop loss distance can make a difference and if wider stops would make a difference or if the trades on the US dollar CAD just don't work out often. But overall, this is a very positive and promising insight that there are actually a lot of US dollar CAD winning trades that he's missing. So removing the US dollar CAD might not be absolutely necessary. And maybe the US dollar CAD in the past was just underperforming because of the market situations and the price behavior in the past. 
The trader should continue to really journal all of the missed trades, especially when he has doubts about a specific pair or a specific setup. Overall, this was just a great trading journal and a very great example of how you use Edgewonk to leverage the strength and the different features to find your edge, uncover weaknesses in your trading, show you what is working well, and also to improve your processes by using the diary, the trading plans, and also the personal notes. The more time you spend and the more data you feed into your Edgewonk trading journal, the better the insights will be to help you move forward in your trading. And although you can get a lot of data from your broker and you can easily import them into Edgewonk within just a few seconds, the real power of Edgewonk and trading journals only really start to shine when you spend time to manually add more data points. This trader uses a lot of custom statistics, he makes great use of the different comments, he spends time with each trade to add a personal note, and over time, this will help the trader to really turn his trading journal into a gold mine where he can extract a lot of data and then let this data guide his decision making and then his trading in the future. We hope you enjoyed this trading review as much as we did. If you want us to review your journal in one of the next videos, make sure to go to edgewonk.com review or click the link in the video description and submit your journal for the review.